Things are snowballing at the University of Pennsylvania tonight. Ross Stevens, who had pledged $100 million to the school, rescinded the donation in a scathing letter. And they had an emergency board of trustees meeting as well. This was after the school's president, Liz McGill, set off a firestorm when she and her colleagues from Harvard and MIT literally could not find it within themselves to clearly say that calls for genocide are not acceptable on campus. If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. So the answer is yes. It is a context-dependent decision, Congresswoman. Well, her hostage tape clarification sounded completely disingenuous afterward. In that moment, I was focused on our university's longstanding policies aligned with the U.S. Constitution. I was not focused on, but I should have been. The irrefutable fact that a call for genocide of Jewish people is a call for some of the most terrible violence human beings can perpetrate. It's evil, plain and simple. Couldn't she just memorize it? She's reading it off of her computer screen. This is the president of the University of Pennsylvania. What's mind blowing here is that this woman still has her job. At the end of the meeting this afternoon at the Board of Trustees, she was reportedly still in her position as president. A source telling the Daily Pennsylvanian, as usual, nothing happened. It was just an opportunity for people to state their opinions. Opinions? Is there actually bored empathy with the president regarding her testimony? If a corporate CEO did something to lose the company $100 million and acquitted himself as she acquitted herself, well, his office would have been boxed up that night. Joining me now is former Georgetown professor Azra Nomani and Chris Rufo, senior fellow at the Manhattan Institute. Azra, Congresswoman Stefanik gave her multiple opportunities to change her answer. She only went back and did that hostage tape clarification because of the firestorm that brewed. Otherwise, she would have just moved on to, you know, the next embarrassment. Yeah, she needs to become former President McGill. And what is so important for people to realize is that those testimonies is the manifestation of six decades of work by Muslim organizations that have as one mission in their lives, the destruction of the state of Israel and the removal of Jews from the river to the sea. They have established beachheads at our universities from Harvard to UC Berkeley, and they are the ones that have unleashed this woke army onto our campuses calling for the genocide of Jews. And that's unacceptable. Well, yeah, well, Chris, you know, I know you and I aren't surprised by this. I mean, I saw this nonsense brewing back in the mid 80s at Dartmouth College. OK, that's how long I've been watching this happening. But but we're seeing this attempt to dominate campuses with this political Islamist, anti-American, anti-Semitic thought. It's not just it's not just anti-Semitic. That's bad enough. It's anti-American and anti-Christian as well. That's right. And it all stems from the logic of so-called intersectionality, which deems any group with power, any group uh, that has high achievements, uh, the oppressor, and any group that is at the bottom of the socioeconomic ladder, the oppressed. And you're supposed to automatically side with the oppressed. And so university presidents have twisted their minds in this left-wing logic so that they find themselves not just supporting Black Lives Matter in the summer of 2020, but they're now also supporting Hamas. Uh, in, in these final moments of 2023, uh, because they're trapped ideologically and they can't get out of this trap. I think Congresswoman Stefanik had a brilliant uh, gotcha here. Uh, and it really exposes the rot at the heart of academia. These are people that are very credentialed, but they're moral morons. Uh, they need to be removed from power and this incentives have to shift dramatically within academia. Well, isn't this, Azra, the opportunity for Congress to keep this going? I mean, I, this sh can't be a one-off. I would bring oh, in absolutely. the presidents of all the other schools where this nonsense has been taking place, where, where uh, views have been shut down uh, by of conservatives, uh, but this has obviously been allowed to fester really quickly. Yeah, I am so excited that... Um, Representative Stefanik is going to subpoena universities across the country. And I just tweeted out to her and said, I'm exhibit A if you want. I'm ready to help you however I can because we know where the receipts are buried and they are there. Well, Azra and Chris, I think this is the beginning of a long battle. It can't be just everyone applauding what just happened this week. Pressure has to be brought to these board of trustees, these boards of overseers. 
And uh, that's where real uh, opportunity is. And the big donors, they've got to step up. Ozra and Chris, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.